Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute pendant. Quite a simple, quick one this week. It looks simple. The idea is quite simple. It is a little bit fiddly still. So I've put a list of everything you'll need in the description below and let's get to it. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire which is 20 gauge. I've cut one length at 14 inches which is 35 centimetres and two lengths at three and a half inches which is nine centimetres. I've got just a little bit of weaving wire so that's 0.315mm 28 gauge. I've just wound on a metre you probably don't even need that much. So I've wound mine on to um, one of these bobbins by Bobbies. Just stops the wire from flailing about when you're working with a longer lens. If you don't have one don't worry. So I'm using a double uh, point stone today this is 35 millimeters long so if you use a stone that is bigger it'll probably struggle to hold in this design and if you use one that's smaller then it's going to be a bit maybe a bit too fiddly to work so this kind of size is just right for this design so you want about 35 millimeters so tools i've got my pliers round nose pliers and wire cutters all my pliers are Electronics. I've put a list of everything you'll need in the description below along with all the tools that I'll use if you want to have a look so go and have a nosy. So this one is very different to what I normally do and there's a lot of playing around with the wires so get your basic shape and then we'll, we'll see where we go from there. So we're going to grip the centre of the wire with the end of your round nose pliers. We're going to bend one one way and one the other and we're taking the wires around the tip of the pliers so we're making this cute little shape on the end don't let go of the wire so now as you go we're going to take the wire around we're also going to bring this wire around now you want it to come quite close but not touching so you want it to be a distance I knew this was going to be tricky doing it so close so you don't want a massive gap but you don't want it too close oh, come on. So imagine there's a line across where my pliers are. We want to stop when this one reaches this side and this one reaches this side of an imaginary line across there. And then what we're going to do is we grip it in the middle of those wires quite firmly and we're going to pull. I've just swapped and gripped with my regular pliers. So I'm just creating that point where the stone's going to sit. So the stone goes in there. And now you just want to press those wires around the stone so they're the right shape to the stone. And you want them to cup the stone there. That's actually gone in quite well. The one I made just, I was fiddling with that one for ages. So take your time, squeeze in the wire around until it fits nicely. This is the one I just made. But I'll show you that in a minute. So when you're happy that that is cupped in there, what we're going to do is... On one side, we're going to grab that wire and we're going to bend it directly up. I'm not actually zooming in on the camera just yet so that I don't keep jumping out of screen because this is when you're working with the longer wires. It can get a bit tight, so an imaginary line from that bend to here is here. So right opposite it, I'm going to bend the wire up 
on this side. Try and hold the wire as you bend it. This is now in order. So these wires come up the sides of the stone and the point sits in the bottom there. It's going to be quite a short video this time for a change. So this wire is going to come up and here where it reaches the top making sure the stone is really pushed down. We're going to grab the wire and I'm going to bend it, whoops, that way. And then this wire comes up here. So in the same place at the top, making sure that's pushed in. And I'm going to bend this one this way. If you bend them both the same way, then they'll have to keep crossing over each other. So make sure you bend them opposite ways. So now, holding that stone in the best you can, we're going to take these wires around the top. And I'm expecting the wire to move a little bit so we can move it back in a minute. We want big loose curls around the top bring them both up together like that so they both sort of can't start meeting each other that wire has moved a bit there and that one has moved a bit so adjust, adjust your wires. So then where the wires meet at the top here, we're just going to bend them straight up. So holding them the best you can. We just want them to come up and sit next to each other so we can weave the bale over them. So these two wires are now going to be our bale. I'm going to weave across these two wires. So take your weaving wire, attach with a few wraps around the one wire, slide the wraps down to the bottom. We'll wrap around both wires twice, coming up between those two wires. Go around the top wire, then around the bottom wire. And that's our repeat. We'll go around both wires twice, come up between the two, over the top wire, under the bottom wire, and keep repeating that weave. So my weave is about three and a half centimetres. You can make that weave as big or as small as you like. So press it all down so it's all nice and tidy. We need to finish that weave. Which way umbers are going? This way. We need to finish that with a few wraps around the one wire. So 
now we're just going to bend that bale over to the front. So you can bend it over with your fingers or you can bend it over some bale pliers. So this bale has ended up being quite big. The last one I did was quite tiny. If you can hear loads of noise, Gracie is rearranging her bed. So at the bottom of the weave, I'm going to bend the wires out and then I'm going to bring the bale together. Whoop, open those wires a bit. So it meets. Go on. Every time you move your bale, you move those wires, so you, if you do adjust it, you have to keep adjusting everything. Beautiful stone. That's moved as well. So just keep an eye on everything for now, and we will secure it all in place in just a second. So here, so we've brought the bale back together here. What we're going to do, we're going to go around holding it together. Go around the whole thing a few times. And then go around a single wire to tie that off nicely. And then I'm going to pull those wires up at the back. Not very level, is it? I'm going to have to straighten it up. And then with those two wires there, I'm just going to bend them around into a curl. I don't want them snagging on anything. I just want to finish them off, really. So I've adjusted my bio. We have to re-wrap around that a little bit because it was a bit loose. So that's what we have so far. Now you can stick with that. The stone is pretty secure in there. But if you snag this, you will pull the wires and your stone can pop out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little curl where these wires join here and here. And then, of course, on the other side. So we've got it on this corner and on this corner just to finish it off and definitely hold it all permanently together. So that's where the two shorter lengths come into it next. So take one of your shorter lengths of wire towards the top of the wire. We're just going to put a bend into it. And then take your weaving wire and we'll just add some coils to that. You want a little bit of a tail end, about three inches. And then add some coils onto that. Slide that down to the bend. And then we're going to join each side onto those wires so this bend is going to go here so at the top where you've got your corner that's where I'm going to join it and we want the shorter length to be at the top so it's going to go that way shorter length is at the top so holding that in place take one of the wires I'll start with the top one and we're going to wrap around two wires. We're going to go around that a few times.
and then go around the single wire a few times. So we've got a join on the one side, push it back into the corner and we'll join on the other side. So on this side I'm joining on to this wire. So we'll just pop it underneath to start with. And then I'll wrap a few times around the two wires. Keep pressing it all together to keep it all nice and tidy. And then we'll wrap around the single wire a few times. Put that weaving wire off at both ends. Flatten down those little cut ends. Then the top wire, I'm going to cut him quite short. I'll curl it around. I just thought this added like a nice little extra and the other thing is this design is so simple it's bound to have been done before at some point or something like it and this kind of makes it my own secures it all in place so i thought we'd have Something a bit extra. I haven't seen this design, but it's so basic, it's bound to be out there somewhere. So I'm going to wrap around this wire, and then I'm going to attach it two points. I'm going to attach here, and I'm going to attach here. New tutorial now in my Etsy shop. I just wanted to quickly share this one with you. So this one's got a little bit of everything going on. Got some lovely weaving if you fancy some relaxing weaving for a bit and then it finishes off with all this curly swirly goodness if you fancy a bit of that so come and check it out over on etsy and it's on my website too and i will see you there bye for now bye so i wrapped a few times then around the two wires then i coiled up to here and wrapped a few times around the two wires and then two wraps around the single wire I'll cut that wire off quite short and then curl that wire around. I do love this stone. It looks like mahogany. It's, um, oh, what's it called now? Red Jasper. It's pretty. So we've got a little curl at the bottom and a little curl at the top. So now I'm going to add the same thing here. So I'm going to join into this wire and this one and do a curl, bring it down, out and then join into this wire and this wire and do a curl at the bottom. So then we're definitely joined in solid. So it's done, it's all held really good in place. So I made another one earlier, same. So I'll run and oxidise these and I'll be straight back. Just straightened it up there at the top. I don't think it's straight. It still needs a bit of adjusting. There's so many wires that you can move about. So make sure it's all nice and straight and even. So that's it finished. I've oxidised mine. If you'd like help oxidising yours, I did a video on oxidising and aftercare. I'll put a link in the description I hope below. I you found this uh, tutorial easy to follow. And I will see you all soon in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more free videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Try a bit.